Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to share your Java applet on the internet. As a requirement to the class, you have to share and upload your project that you've created onto the internet for everyone to see. So in order to do that, we need to make it public. So I'll go ahead and open up jCreator real quick and we'll just open up a a fake uh, little apple here. We'll get it going. And we'll just change some text to flavor it. There we go. If we run it, we'll just get some simple little thing saying that we are now on the internet. Maybe, if my jCreator went on the work. There it goes. We are now on the internet. So it's just a simple applet. So once we go ahead and we're done, we should be able to find this applet. Um, if you didn't change the directory, it's just in your documents, jCreator, my projects, and then your project folder. So if you open up your project folder, you'll see that you have a couple files here. You have a JCW file, which is your jCreator workspace, which is what you would use to open up your file inside or your project inside of jCreator. Inside the classes folder, this is where you would put things like images and anything else that you'd be using inside of your project. Well, it automatically gets generated a .class and a .htm file. So those are the two files that we're going to be needing to be able to upload this to the internet. So just keep this window handy. The next thing we'll need to do is we're going to need to make a Google Drive account. So the best way to do that is go to drive.google.com and you should get this thing right here. If you already have a Google account, you may already be signed in and you'll be sent to a Google Drive. Otherwise, what we'll need to do is just create an account. So go ahead and cre create an account if you don't have an account already and follow through the steps. And uh, once you're done, you should be able to sign in. Once signed in, you'll get something like this. I have a lot of stuff already that I have generated. Um, in my Google Drive, so there's no need to worry about all this. Once here, we need to create a public folder. So what we'll do is we'll just go to Create Folder. And we'll just name it um, Public on the Web. And hit Create. So now we have a folder called Public on the Web right down here. Now we need to go ahead and change this so it is actually public. So we'll right click it, and then we'll go to Share, and then share again. Once here, you'll see who has access. And then you can add individual people with their email address as long as they have a Gmail account. And you can add them, add them to that and they'll be able to access it. Or you can change this kind of global access right here. So right now it's private, only I can access it. You can change that. You can make it so anyone with the link can access that or public on the web. For this one we're going to do public on the web. Um, and then once down here you'll see that you can change wh what it means so anyone can access it. There's no signing required and you can change it so people can view or they can both view and edit. We're just going to leave it to view because they just need to be able to look at it. So once that's selected hit save. Alrighty. Now, if you were to change this to anyone with a link, this link to share, that's the link you would share with them. But just hit done. And now we should have a public on the web folder. I'll just make sure my settings saved. Yep. Alrighty. So now what we need to do is we need to upload those two files. So we'll move this over to the left side and we'll bring our folder over here which we used. There's two ways you can do this. Um, 
if you have like Google Chrome you can just drag these files into here and it should work just fine if you don't and you have like Internet Explorer or something you're gonna click this little upload button at the top left and then you're gonna click files now you need to go ahead and navigate to where your jcreator folder is projects tests classes and highlight the, 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 the class and the HTM file you might not have these extension types after it it may just be called whatever you called your jcreator but if you look in the type section you should have class file and HTM file so go ahead and hit open alrighty you should see a progress bar down here at the bottom right and once it's done you should be able to see both of them up here once that's done what we need to do is we can go ahead and we need to get this HTM file, this test.htm, and we need to get that open on the internet for people to see. So in order to do that, we need to give those people a specific link. So how you do that is you right click it and go to preview. Once here, click the down or click open. And then we're going to go ahead and click preview once more. So now as you should see in just a moment Java will start to load and you might get this error right here it says that application blocked by security settings I'll go over that in just a second so what that means is Java's not set up properly right now on our computer so we wouldn't be able to test this to see if it's working as you can see we get an error in order to fix this we need to go ahead and open up my computer and go to your C drive. C drive. And then we need to go to your Java um, installation, wherever you install Java. So in my it's program files, Java. And we don't want the JDKs, we want the JRE this time, because this is the real time environment. This is what actually runs the programs. The development kit is what helps us develop them. So go ahead and open up that. And then we're going to go to bin. And we're going to find the Java CPL.exe. What this is, is it's the Java control panel. This allows us to change settings within Java. Once here, go to the security tab. We're going to bring this security level down to medium. What that does is instead of immediately rejecting Java applets from running, it will ask us if we'd like to run them. So make sure that when you actually start using the internet now, if you come across you know, a little Java thing like this and you don't know what it is, and you're not sure if it should be running, just hit the no button when it asks you if you'd like to run. We'll go ahead and see if the settings automatically changed. It looks like it didn't. So we're gonna copy this link right up here and you just need to restart your web browser and then we'll go ahead and paste it back in and load that web page now you'll see we get a security warning that says would you like to run this application so we'll hit run now as you can see we are now on the internet so we get that nice little message so now what you would like to want to do is go to your D2L go to your class communications discussions and if you go down to the bottom you'll see student websites and you can see then you're going to click start a new thread and this is going to be the area where you're going to post <clears throat> the link to your um, to your Java project. So we'll just say I'll put this test project and then my name. And then what will happen is we go ahead and we're going to copy this link and we're going to go hey guys check out my test project that 
I made for my tutorial video. Link is here. Then I like to copy that here portion and click this little paper clip icon. URL and then paste the URL into the URL section, that thing we just copied. The title, I just like to name it here dot. Because then and then click new window. That what that does is it makes that here dot a link. I'll put my name and I'll post. So now if we look in here and we go, oh look, link is here. So I just click that link and it'll nicely open up in a new tab and work just fine. Now, if people haven't changed their Java security settings correctly, they might not be able to see this. They'll get that error message. So, just a quick overview, because I know this is kind of a fast process. So, drive.google.com. You made we made a public on the web folder. We shared it. We made it public on the web. What that does, it makes everything inside this folder public to view. And then what we did is we uploaded the, uh, the the dot class and the dot HTML file of our project. And then what we did is we right clicked the HTML file, we previewed it, then we opened it, and then we previewed it again. So it's kind of a, a little bit drawn out process to get to this step here because you have to click preview, open, preview, but it's well worth it to share your projects and it will be mandatory. Well, I hope you guys learned a bit on this video. Have a wonderful day.